Farah, I don't know if you've got a head for numbers. Did you ever think of becoming an actuary? Well, that's supposed to be one of the world's most desirable professions, but then you really have to live, eat and sleep numbers day and night, so no, that's definitely not for me. It's still interesting to me though, how they can use maths to predict the likelihood of something happening in the future. Fashion designers have a similar skill, but they don't have numbers to help them. You're so right. And it was fascinating to hear from Kajal about what Amanda Govender lined up for the Autumn Winter 2015 collection at SA Fashion Week. Inspired by the tulip, Amanda Govender's collection presented a stylish balance between drama and romance. Simple yet strong silhouettes were combined with a saturated palette to make a bold statement, while minimalist embellishment added a feminine touch. Presenting a collection at a major national event like SA Fashion Week is a significant accolade for a rising star designer. Kajal was invited to join Amanda at a fashion shoot. When I was at school, I loved doodling dress designs, but only one of those doodles really saw the light of day, my matric dance dress. I admire people who've made the jump from doodler to professional designer. Amanda Govender has not only made that transition, but she's also built a successful brand. Amanda May. Knock knock. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you, Amanda? Well, thank you. So, what's going on here? Well, we already started the makeup. Mm -hmm. Just very, very bright lip. Nice, beautiful, natural looking skin with a dark, shadowy eye. Just works so well with many looks. Is this the same collection you showcased at SA Fashion Week? Yes, we've just showcased our Winter 2015 collection and yeah, it was a phenomenal success. Tell me more about this collection. The collection was truly inspired by the tulip uh, in its simplicity and where it gets most of its beauty from is its simple form. And we've just used shapes being inspired by that and different textures and different fabrications, just manipulating and recreating the shape. Now, can this style be worn by any sort of woman? I did very much keep in mind the kind of look that would suit most body shapes and styles. I just created different versatile silhouettes that would suit most, most people. Amanda had offered to place her collection and her expert eye at Kajal's disposal. All right, there it is. Okay, hold that thought. I have these amazing shoes, so I need you to tell me what do you think will go best with them? Okay, let's get to it. This is one more of the tulip inspired shapes into a crossover silhouette, one with a beautiful beaded bra top. Okay, this is beautiful. May this, I try it on? Of course you can. Is it a cape? It is a cape. You can wear it over, over garments, especially during winter when you're fully covered and you're just needing something to just put over yourself that is just going to be glamorous, really. Isn't it glamorous? So, what do you think? Oh my, it is absolutely amazing. Thanks, my amazing friend. Amanda May designed this. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it goes beautifully with the shoes. Kajal wanted to know where it all started. Amanda, when did your fashion journey begin? All I remember is the feeling I used to get when I used to sketch away in my sketch pad and what it felt like when I put a garment together or took it apart and redid it, you know. Um, it's just an amazing feeling and I wanted to have that amazing feeling for as long as I can. Now, I see you have a sewing machine there and I remember reading that you mentioned your grand taught you how to sew. Is that the very same Singer machine or is that a replica? Absolutely the same sewing machine, yes. Oh my God, please tell me the story behind that. What started out of a necessity grew into just being inspired to create and develop your own individuality. And that's pretty much when I started taking apart things and using old to become new and taking my mom's old saris and making them into something that I would wear. Yeah, that's pretty much the journey and my granny is the first person who taught me how to make that stitch line up here. Tell me about that. When did that start? How old were you? I was a little girl. I was fascinated that sound, the turning of the wheel, and how do you move it along and then a stitch appears and then you've got two fabric layers together. And not just that, but it could make you look so beautiful. What keeps you motivated? Definitely my family. Um, just the spirit of, of just being able to embrace what I have. Um, 
seeing what I can make out of the potential that we have as people and everyday life. Showcasing your work at SA Fashion Week is, it must have been a really big event for you and a feather in your cap. How did that come about? Organizations like the KZN Fashion Council that creates platforms that gives designers like myself an opportunity. To find out more about the role of the council, Kajal chatted to Shavira Syed. Shavira, tell us more about KZN and Fashion Council and what does it do? Well, basically the council is here to support fashion designers in KwaZulu Natal. The programs are aimed at developing designers to run sustainable businesses. And how did Amanda come to showcase her collection at SA Fashion Week? Well, Amanda is a very talented designer. And based on that talent, she was selected as one of the designers to showcase on the ramp at SA Fashion Week. What advice do you have to young people who want to become designers but face many challenges like they don't have the finances, um, they're not sure how to develop themselves, what would you like to tell them? Well, I would advise them to contact the KZN Fashion Council. We are on Facebook, Twitter, we have, we have a website and they can get in touch with us and we would link them with organizations out there that are uh, available to support young designers in terms of accessing finances. Well, there you have it. It's great to have ambition, but you need patience and determination to make a dream come true. Amanda has that and a whole lot more, and that's why I'll be keeping a keen eye on her brand.